Let's make quick, tasty and very delicious taro root fry today. Taro root is called arbi in India and uh, it's a very popular uh, vegetable and it can be cooked in so many different ways. Uh, it's really nutrition, it has good dietary fiber and low in calories and it's popular all over the world. Um, it's cooked commonly in Japan and it's called satoimo. And uh, today I'm going to basically just wash them, uh, peel the skin off and then we're gonna steam it and then cook it with some Indian spices. So are you ready? I have a little bit of like half a cup of boiling water in which I'm going to go ahead and add my cup of taro root and we can just cover it and give it a few minutes so that our taro root is uh, nice and tender. Uh, some hot mustard oil, the one I'm using is Dabur mustard oil and what we are going to do is in this hot oil we'll go ahead and add uh, some of our Indian spices. One teaspoon of cumin seeds, that's jeera. And along with my spluttering cumin seeds, I'll go ahead and add one small onion. And in this onion and cumin seeds mixture I'll go ahead and add green chilies now green chilies is optional if you don't like spice don't add them so I'm adding one large green chili because I like this terra root fry to be a little spicy and also we'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of ginger so mixing it well and we'll fry our onions until they are golden brown and we can also add our spices at this time and for spices I'm going to add salt should be as per taste so about one and a half teaspoon because I had like five six uh, taro roots which is good for about two people and also we'll add turmeric that's healthy so one teaspoon of turmeric red chili powder as per taste so about half a teaspoon for me because I've already added green chilies for that extra kick so we'll mix these well and let our onions fry so while my onions are frying this side I'm steaming my taro root my arbi on the other side of my stove top Onions have started to change color, so I'll go ahead and add my steamed terra root in. Water has practically dried out because terra root has soaked everything. So now we'll mix everything well together and let our terra root get cooked with uh, spices. Um, now it's your choice. If you don't want to steam them, you don't have to. You can simply fry them, uh, but then it takes forever. This way it's a little quicker. And we have to basically cook it for another 5-6 minutes until uh, the root is completely tender. Right, look at that. Our terra root fry is almost ready. Our baby sabji is good to go. Um, basically when it starts changing color it's, it has started to become brown and it's nice and tender just like potatoes. See it's easy to, uh, it's very tender so it's ready and all we have to do is just add in a pinch of garam masala for that nice punch and We'll garnish it with some cilantro leaves and you can enjoy it as a side dish with your curry or you can enjoy it uh, just the way it is with like fulka, chapati, roti and if you don't know how to make a roti, be sure to go ahead and watch my roti video and hey, do subscribe because a lot more interesting recipes to come. So see you soon. Take care.